Hey my friend, CA here. With MTK. And on Fridays we talk about games. games. And today's particular game is Trellis. Trellis. Two to four players, a strategy game all around planting. Flowers, flowers and vines. Flowers and vines. And I've heard a lot about the game. Only recently picked it up. Let's play. <laughs> you can tell your centerpiece because it has the end of all six unique vines that goes in sort of the center of your game area. You choose your flower, up to four people can play and they have different flower colors. And then each player is assigned three cards. This is the back end, this is the front end that has the vines on it. And on your turn, you have three actions performed in order. You can place a tile, so which is step one. Now, they do not have to line up to the colored vines. The advantage of lining them up is you get to, when you claim a vine, because it continues onto another tile, I get to claim the connected vine. So there are advantages. Step two is uh, claim a vine. And then if it blooms by being connected to any vines of the same color, um, the bloom spreads and you get to place down more flowers depending on how many vines are connected in the chain. The object is, of the game is the first person to plant all of their blooms wins. So there's no scoring, it's really that straightforward. Which makes this a really great sort of a strategic but can be a pretty quick game depending on how much you think about your move. And then after your turn you draw a card. You should always have three of these tiles in your hand. MTK did the same thing. He first claimed the additional blooms and then claimed a new vine. Clapper. And then third, uh, you collect gifts. So if you place down a tile and somebody else's vine blooms onto the tile, then you get a gift allowing you to claim an additional vine. This would be an example of this tile that MTK put down. He put the tile down, checked for blooms. He already had this one, right? So he continued the bloom here. Yes. And now he would claim a vine, right? He can't claim this one because I'm already on it. Uh, but because he laid a tile that I've already started, I get to claim it, which now because I've benefited, he gets an additional vine. Now all of the vines are full on this tile, so he gets to choose another vine that he can claim. <sighs> Look at that. See, sometimes helping people helps you. <laughs> Oh, look at that. MTK Game is over. He's planted all of his vines. And I still had two left. All my blooms. All the blooms. blooms. All the blooms. Well, so that was the game Trellis. Trellis. There are many things I love about this game. I love that it is such an easy setup. There are so many games where there are so many pieces and it takes you half an hour to set the game up. It really is quick to set up. It's very beginner friendly. It is, it's not complicated, but I do love the strategy uh, that's involved yeah. with it. Figuring out what's gonna get you the most blooms. It is actually a great game for to introduce people to some of that strategy thinking. Mm -hmm. There's just something about the flower part that doesn't make strategy like a deadly thing. Really, I do love the, the look of the game too. Just the colors and the vines and just how it all lays out. It's a simple thing, but that they made these play pieces actual blooms. It could have just mm -hmm. been brown colored discs. So the fact that they really kind of carried the theme through made it great. Uh, overall, it's just really fun. Not too complicated for a strategy game. It's not like there's difficulties like some other games, like, like oh, add these extra pieces if you want a higher difficulty. It's just that depending on your opponent, you can strategize more, not knowing what they have. Overall, just watching everything on the board. Yeah, I find the length of the game really depends on the people who are playing it. Yeah. Yeah, a game could go longer if you have a bunch of people who are gonna think through for 15 minutes that specific tile placement. Overall, it really is a pretty quick game. Um, we've only had a chance to play with two people, but you can play up to four, so yeah. I can only imagine how things get a little more... Complicated. Yeah, interesting, to say <laughs> the least, when you've got multiple um, finds being claimed. So you can find us here on Friday. You can find us here on Friday! <laughs> it's the weekend. You can find us here on Friday talking about games. With a little bit of a geek twist or a, geek twist. a game that we found really interesting and overall just fun to play with the family. 
If you like this content and want to see more of it, make sure to give us a thumbs up so we know that and we keep up the good work. Um, if you haven't already, we would appreciate it if you subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be notified when more videos like this are uploaded to our channel. And until next time. Until next time. Two to, to, to beam, beam out. out.